We're learning more about the moments a Fayetteville police officer fatally shot a man during a traffic stop. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. Tonight, CBS 17's Galat Malaman shares what surveillance video shows and what we've learned about the man's past. <laughs> Fayetteville police say Officer Dylan Hoke shot and killed 49-year-old Demarcus Brody. Chief Kimberly Braden says officers pulled Brody over Thursday, and when they tried to detain Brody, he resisted and assaulted officers. The chief did not break down the timeline between the stop and the fight, but he did say investigators found a knife at the scene. This was a rapidly evolving event. There was minimal time from the, the, the time that the, the, uh, Mr. Brody stopped and things escalated. I watched the surveillance video from a nearby business showing the point where Brody opens the car door. The timestamp on the next surveillance clip is about a minute later. By then, both the officers and Brody are already out of the parking lot and on the side of the road. As for what led to the traffic stop in the first place. That, that is something that, that will come out during the course of that investigation. The officers are waiting to be interviewed by the SBI. I asked the spokesperson for the SBI that same question Friday afternoon. They tell me they have to defer to the local agency since it was their stop. According to police in DeSoto, Texas, Brody was arrested earlier this year for communicating terroristic threats against a mosque there. And our sister station in Charlotte reports he was charged with stabbing a waitress years earlier. When I spoke to Brody's aunt, Anita McSwain, Thursday evening. This, this is so painful right now. She told me Brody lived with her and had a history of mental illness. What officer shot my nephew down on Thanksgiving Day if he couldn't have tried to talk to him or... Whatever, anything that could have calmed him down. Chief Braden says the two officers did try to de-escalate the situation. One hoke and another unidentified officer who called for help. I did pull my taser and it didn't work. We asked the chief to clarify if the taser malfunctioned or if that officer meant something else. Those are things that will come out during the course of the SBI's investigation. Officer Hoke is on administrative leave per protocol. In Fayetteville, Gilad Muhammad, CBS 17 News. Now, regarding that surveillance video, the recording does not show a critical part, which is what happened once Brody got out of his car. There's about a minute gap between each clip. The business tells us there's, uh, that's how the footage records, and the SBI will go and try and see if those moments were actually captured.